remember the other day when we were sitting here in the car, only we were sitting right over there? Well, you were going to ask me something, but Jeff interrupted, and you never got around to asking me. What were you going to ask me? What are you talking about? Well, you were going to ask me something, but Jeff came over, and you started talking to him about cars, and, well, you never got around to asking me. Oh, it doesn't matter, and anyway. It matters to me, Scotty, and I'm sure it mattered to you, too, because... Well, you found it very difficult to talk about. Well, as I said the other day, I feel as though we've known each other for years and years, and you need to feel shy about asking me a thing. Oh, I know, but... You can ask me right now, Scotty. <laughs> well, it's just that I... Well, I don't feel that I have the right Hi. to... <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just giving Mary her first driving lesson. Oh, really? Yeah, this I gotta see. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Mary, I, I, I just want to watch. I won't heckle, really. <sighs> Go away. Maybe you better, Jeff. You might make her nervous. Mm, okay. If you're going to give her a driving lesson, I won't stand in her way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it? I won't stand in her way. <laughs> <Just a joke. laughs> you know, you are the only one in this family with absolutely no sense of humor. <laughs> I'm warning you, Jeff. Disappear right now. Okay, okay. Uh, lots of rugs, Scotty. And to all the drivers and pedestrians of Hilldale. Uh, that's the second time he interrupted you as you were about to ask me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I just wanted to... Well, I really wanted to ask your father. My father? Well, yes, your father. Well, why didn't you want to ask my father? Well, I just wanted... Well, I didn't want to ask him. I wanted you to ask him, where do you think I could get a stethoscope? What do you want with a stethoscope? Well, you can tell a lot about an engine by just listening to it. And a stethoscope would be better than just a plain old ear. Yes. Well, I'll ask him. Oh, gee, thanks, Mary. I sure appreciate it. Well, back to the driving lesson. You were explaining what makes a car go. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, the piston in the cylinder is attached to a connecting rod. Now, the connecting rod is attached to the crankshaft. Now, this crankshaft rotates, and by an arrangement of gears, drive shaft and axle transmits its motion to the wheels. Right? Oh, but one thing. What makes the car go? <laughs> yeah, huh? Good. Well, now, let me make it just a little simpler. Now, um, there's an explosion in the cylinder, right? Huh? Yeah. Now, this explosion gives the piston a vertical action. You got that? <laughs> now, while the, the, the uh, piston is going up and down, the connecting rod attached to it is going up and down. You with me? Yeah. Now, while the connecting rod is going up and down, the crankshaft, which is connected to it, is going around and around. Right? How can it? If, if it's going up and down, how can it make the other thing go round and round? Good question. Now, it's, um... It's the way a bicycle works. Now, your legs go up and down. And this up and down motion becomes the round and round motion of the wheels, right? Wrong. Wrong? What do you mean wrong? My leg doesn't go up and down, it goes round and round. No, no, no. Your foot goes round and round, but your legs go up and down. I am not double jointed. Look, man, I don't think you understand this. It's very simple. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. That's okay. Now I'll just show you I'm a bicycle. Oh. Scotty. Don't, I, I'll take your word for it. No, no, Mary, I just want to make sure you understand it. <laughs> What's the need for that? Watch the action of my legs, okay, as they go up and down. 